Arena Heckhead Pavilion at the University of Washington. Now, every night at 10 o'clock and midnight, it's the National Sports Report featuring news, opinions, and highlights from a fresh perspective. It's the National Sports Report tonight at 10 and midnight only on Fox Sports Net. Jim Watson and Kathy Johnson-Clark, the Pac-10 Championships in Washington. And after three rotations, this is the way it stacks up with Stanford. A slight advantage over UCLA, very tight at the top. Arizona, Oregon State, and California all close. Washington and Arizona State have only scored two events. Everyone else has scored three events. Take a look at rotation four, the way it breaks down for you. Washington will be on the vaults, Arizona State on the bars, Arizona beam. Stanford on the floor, California, Oregon State, and UCLA received the bye here in rotation four. Mandy Klug for Washington moments ago on the vaults. A 9.85 is her best this year. Front tuck with a half twist. Best part of the vault was the distance away from the horse. 9.8 for Mandy Klug. Margaret Wojak, the sophomore from Arizona State, on the bars. 9-9 nine, nine or better in three of her last six on this event. They're hoping to drop a low score here on this event. Nice, full over the bars. Okay, good routine in terms of level of difficulty. Nice release moves. Bojack with a 9.85 on the bars. Back to the vaults. Emily Pritchard, the freshman for UW, has a career high 9.95 against Utah back in March, early March. Doing excellent work as a freshman. One of Washington's best ever. More action from earlier on the beam. Randy Lillenquist from Arizona. 23rd nationally in the all-around, fifth in the Pac-10. First team, all Pac-10 honors on this event. And this is a conference full of very good balance beam workers. You can tell they're all approaching the end of their season. Everything is so much sharper, cleaner, more consistent. Always makes for exciting Pac-10 competitions. NC2As will be will be great. I mean, you're just seeing such high level of gymnastics in terms of their consistency. Well, the quest for the 9825 on the beam. And for Stanford who has been strong through two rotations. They move to the floor. This is Lindsey Wing, the freshman, just a few minutes ago. And again, over on floor, they're scoring high 9.8s nine and 9.9s. Nine, nine Lindsey Wing, number one in the Pac-10 in the all-around, number three in the nation on the all-around, and 19th in the country on the floor exercise. makes the difference when these gymnasts are separated by only thousands of a point sometimes. 
the reason these gymnasts from Stanford are scoring so well on bar, on floor, and deep, their form is so good. Where do you find deductions? Toes are pointed. Everything's precise. It's hard to nitpick. And you mentioned that Stanford looks much better now than they did at the beginning of the year. That's the goal of the coach of the program. And after three rotations, they actually lead UCLA, the defending national champions. Yeah, their, their performance has really shot up in the last few weeks. They're starting to really connect with an audience. Cara Fry from Arizona, a senior on the beam. Oh, she pulled that layout back on. She's had an outstanding gymnastics collegiate career. She had the thrill of winning the all-around in her final home meet, matching her career high. Not only has she been such a strong leader for this Arizona team throughout her career as an individual, she qualified as a freshman uh, for an at-large position at the NCAA National, NCAA National Championships. Nice dismount. Swing through double twist. <laughs> Cara Fry, a 9-8 on the balance beam. And now Lise LaVey, freshman for Stanford on the floor. Moments ago, Lindsey Wing, a 9-9-2-5 for Stanford, also on the floor. <laughs> I tell you what, they're putting a lot of pressure on the UCLA wow. team. And look at the excitement. It's contagious now. 9-9-5 for Lise LeVay, the freshman for Stanford. The Cardinal on fire. Moments ago, Arizona State's Lara Moon, junior. Third in the nation on the bars. 18th in the all-around. Whoa, that was nice. Very strong swing, big release move. Very precise too in the handstand positions. Legs are always together. All the little things that add up in deduction, she's not doing. <laughs> nine, nine. And over on the vault, Stacy Wong, the junior from the host Huskies, University of Washington. Boy, we're seeing some good landings in this competition. 995 for Stacy Wong. It ties the best vault tonight. 
Wong went 9-9 nine, nine on the floor exercise earlier. So Stacy Wong having a pretty good night. And doing it in the home building. Bank of America at UW.